Hello, dear friends. This is Rabbi Rosenblatt with you again with another mini lesson from the Rambam's Hilchos Tshuva, The Laws of Repentance, sent just, just especially for you during this special time of year, during the Aseris Yumei Tshuva. The Rambam in the second chapter of Hilchos Tshuva relates Afal Pisha HaTeshuva V'Hatzeoka even though the techniques of repentance and urgent, passionate prayer are always effective and desirable. These methods are especially germane and are immediately accepted on high. When we look at the language of the Rambam, Hateshuva v'hatseoka, the crying out, urgent, passionate prayer, these, these terms are associated with a concept in Hilchos Tainis, the laws of public fasts. Now you have to remember that in ancient times, and even sometimes in modern times, fasting was not merely something dictated by the calendar's recollection of an historical occurrence. Fasting was responsive. Days of fasting were what communities did when they were faced with devastating drought or other forms of existential danger. And these fasts were always times of crying out and of recognition that sometimes things befall us because we have not behaved properly. And the core, the centerpiece of that tainis, in addition to the fasting itself, was this notion of ze'oka or ze'oka, which are almost synonymous, crying out. And Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur have the same quality. So you might ask, what is the emergency of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur? emergency is the fact of God's judgment and the fact that all of the house of Israel is in this state together. As such, it is not only opportunity, it is genuine urgency. This is reflected, according to the Beis Yosef, in a very interesting custom observed by some of the Jews who were exiled from Spain some of the Sephardic communities. We're all familiar with slichos. Slichos are the classic form of penitential prayer during the season of the Days of Judgment. As Yosef records the custom that slichos were recited even on the Sabbath of the Aseris Shemei Tshuva during the Ten Days of Repentance. Slichos on Shabbos, Ashkenazim, turn up their nose and wonder, Slichos on Shabbos, we never heard of such a thing. We know that the tranquility of the Sabbath usually prevents us from coming to God as petitioners with agendas. The business of Shabbos is Shabbos. However, the Beis Yosef points out there is an exception. In certain cases of immediate, dire emergency, even the tranquility of the Shabbos can be set aside. So, for instance, if one is on a boat and the boat is in danger of sinking, you're allowed to pull out all the stops and cry out to God and say to Him whatever might be needed. The same if your city is under siege. In short, when there is an immediate danger, an immediate urgent situation, which cannot wait, then the Shabbos must yield and crying prayer must be held. As Yosef explains, the custom of reciting slichos on the Shabbos of the Aseris Yemei Tshuva is reflective of a recognition that this period of time between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur this period of time where things are so sensitive, where decisions are being made, 
the entire period is designated as an emergency, a national emergency, an emergency which only the Jewish people is aware of. But that's why it says, Teshuva Utsuoko are particularly apt and effective in this time, precisely because we observe this as an opportunity. But an opportunity which is not wholly without deep anxiety and concern. It's an opportunity in the same sense that a crucial surgery is an opportunity. It's an opportunity mixed with the possibility of danger if it is not seized properly. And so, when the Rambam says, "Shatshuva v'hatzeoko yofe le'olam, but be'aseres yemei be'aseres hayomim shebein Rosh Hashanah yom Kippurim he yofe biyoser umiskabelas miyad," the Rambam says, because this is the tzeoko. This is the tzeoko in the shrill tenor of the cry that comes on the day of Tanis. This is the tzeoko with the emergency, perhaps, even to push aside the sweet peace of the Sabbath, if you happen to be a Svardi, if you're a regular homegrown Ashkenazi, then you better remember your emergency is the other nine days. May this Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur find you and your dear ones and all of Israel sealed, signed and sealed in book of life, for happiness, good health, and for peace. From all of us here at the Riverdale Jewish Center, we wish you a good Yom Tov and a Shana Tovah.